Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Goodbye. In the last episode, Tyro did a boss. Wow, that's cool. Next. Ow. What's yeah. next? I don't know. Oh, she she's okay. okay. Good. Do you remember Tiamat, Johanna? Yes. <laughs> wow. We freed her while you were showering. Great. You don't remember, do you? I remember her. Okay, cool. It's like, that was heaven's words. That was forever I ago. I remember a lot of Durgans. I just don't remember their names. Some of them have pretty wild names. But sometimes that makes it easier to remember them, huh, Tyler? True. There's not like... What if there was someone called uh, John, Joseph, Jilly, Jimmy? Bob? Billy? Just... Yeah, that would be dumb. Like, which one was which? Bye, Tiamat. Go save your kind. Toodles. Toodle, Durgan. He's a dragonfly Durgan. Oh, it's 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 uh, Amalja. Long have our peoples waged war, but no more. Good. Your fallen lie beside our own. By our words and deeds, shall we honor their sacrifice. Not. The enemy of our enemy is our friend, and you have proven yourselves worthy of our trust. Is Tyler worthy? It is the guardians who are deserving of our fury. I shall see that my brethren learn the truth of this day. And rally as many as possible to the cause till we meet again. Bye, Mr. Big Hands. Sounds like a horse. <laughs> He's galloping. The galloping lizard. Well, I guess we're not friends with the people of Ifrit, Tyler. Seen that way. The Sultana will be. Let's go and give her the good news, shall we? As we walk away from this fiery field. Yeah, I know. Oh, spooky. What's up with those towers, I bet you those towers are the ones... Um, I forgot oh, the word. Inside that tower we were just looking at. Um... And I forgot what the hell the word was. One's the people that are mind that controlled. Tempered. Yes, I think these towers are. I don't know, Johanna. Tempered. Look, there's an eyeball computer. And they're standing on gooey stuff. He's stepping on jelly. These towers are an icon called Garlemald. That's why everyone's like, Glory to Garlemald! Alright, yeah. Oh no! Bleh. That was not. He got captured. What have I done? It's too late for them. We're leaving now. Listen to Fordola. What the hell? I said, get away! Uh-oh, they're lighting up, Tyler. This is a very creepy place. What's going on?
He did, he should he brought should have brought a shovel or Who's that, Tyler? Should have pulled out a sword, dude. Tyler, what was that? What was that? It looks cool. That was Ifrit. Was that Ifrit? Lunar Ifrit. It was Ifrit, but purple, just like Bahamut. Talk to me, Alphanil, while I stand inside your model. Blah, blah, blah. Your face is in a nice place. You're, ch you're, uh... Well, uh, let me rotate the camera past here. Why is that? I don't know. Just want you to fix on him. I uh, just pick whatever. It doesn't matter. Heaven's Eye Materia, Savage Aim Materia, Savage Might Materia. I guess, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's just saying you can now do that dungeon with NPCs. Talk to Alphano! Cool, see? We saw a Lunar Ifrit. This isn't forever since I last saw Ifrit, so I forgot his exact design for this yeah, game. Yeah, I know. He was the very first trial in this game. Yeah. You fought him when you were level 20. Woo! Brave Scions! Brave Skion! Look at that. Look at her run. That the people we just saw fight Lunar Effort were attacked and they were brought oh, back and the, injured. Yeah, the two people we sent out to scout. Erinvald and Fordola. He's in the Ulda Hospital. Tyler, do you like Astinian? Yes, I think he's very cool. I agree. Yeah, she's not sitting on a Raban's shoulder anymore or arm. Yeah. He used to do this like a bird, like she was a bird, and she <laughs> she she just sit on his arm or I her shoulder. I about that. But uh, yeah, he's not here anymore. He's in. He's back home and Al amigo. amigo. Al amigo. Go, Tyler. Go. Speak with the. What? I guess. Um. I would just leave first. So, so yeah, so go. I don't see yeah. arrows. I think you have to leave for yeah. Talk to that guy. Nana know me. Yes. The steps of Thal. Uh, and now we look at the map. You want to tell? Oh, it's just, just that. Or you can use this, and teleport to the Alchemists Guild. So do that. Teleport to the Alchemists Guild. Oops. Whoa. Hi, Monkey Genius. <laughs> that person's name was Monkey Genius. Which guild? The Alchemist's Guild. Yeah, that one. Then... Should just be there. Where uh, Dingle Dork is. Dingle Dork's in every episode, because they're in the exact same spot of the story Hi, we are. Dingle Dork. Another one. Look, Fedrola's fine. Enough, Alpha. No, this isn't helping. I'll say this one. This one seems less harsh. He's just so worried, Tyler. Let's have a chat with Fordola. She can explain what the hell happened. <laughs> <laughs> With my floating shield on my back.
No response. Nothing. <laughs> One lens is white. <laughs> we have done oh yeah, it's a little off. The it's just the lighting, I guess. Yeah, it is the lighting. I want to do that. I want to have one white anime lens. I can't do the anime one lens. One anime, one regular. Me too. I can't do it. I need a flashlight. Oh, he just like he just blaming himself again, Tyler. It's just in his character. Uh oh. Punch him. Oh. Oh, just kind of a shove. Got tempered. Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. Oh damn. What is she have a bloody light? Bloody oh. All the time for no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. Which is kind of a point. She has a very good point. It may be. Whoa! Victory cannot be won without cost. Are you done? <laughs> Your life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. Little man. <laughs> I'm not little. I'm big. -o. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. On the wind, not in the wind. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. Someone else behind that wall too? Nope. Alpha Note just cares, Tyler, okay? I know he does. He's a good Talk guy. Talk to him. He's looking down at the floor because it's shiny. Do you hope he's okay, Tyler? Yeah, he's a nice guy. The guy with paint on his face. Let us rejoin with the others. <gasps> hey, Mr. Top Hat! Mr. Upside Down Flower Pot! Yeah. <laughs> I never thought of that until I saw well, it from the back. Looks like it's time for a meeting. Not another meeting. Boo! Yes. Meetings are boring. Yes, Dank! <laughs> oh, brother, this meeting stinks! <laughs> I wish, if, if only. Just imagine, just out of nowhere, one of the voice actors, just like Ro Bonds or something, says that line. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen, but it'd be hilarious. Hey, let's pe people at this meeting. What, no chairs for us? Your grace. Pray forgive us our lateness. Huh? Not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Our own lord. 
It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we agreed to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that, you have my word. Yay! Now, we will share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. Pippin! The guy who does Shulk's voice, remember? Yeah. <laughs> He's the voice of Shulk. Oh, well, apparently not in this experience. Oh, I nice. wanted to hear, you know, Monado voice. The Monado. First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Or Luna Ifrit, the Stanley Daniel would doubtless have it. It is now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. Now you know what they do. Less yeah. certain is the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Emperor's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Teloperoi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. Well, the situation in Garlemont is indeed troubling. I fear we have more immediate concerns. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers were witness to the emergence of further such entities. Other primals? It's as if they're all back and reincarnated. We're going to be fighting a crab load of lunars in uh, the next lunar expansion. This, lunar Titan, Lunar Garuda. None appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut. And the Grand Companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Is that wise? Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Sans only as a last resort. But you know we're going to still go, because that's just how the story is. Well, it depends. Developers might not want us to fight like 40 yes, lunars so. and fast oh, bosses. Maybe, yes. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. Yay! It is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the Allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. We're going to try to get Beast Tribes on our team, finally. This is only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagel Farm. Moreover, we shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea. May these words ever be our guide, Your Grace. Now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends, I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. Okay, bye. Let's try to make friends with other people, Tyler. She's just unite everyone and smack Garlemald in the face. Specifically, Fan Daniel and Zener, Zener, Zini, Zini, Lil Zine, Lil Z. <laughs> hey, talk to Alize. That's a cool fountain in the back there.
Who's calling him? Me? You? Who knows? Look forward to it. Fine. Fine. That's it. He's trying to avoid Totaro, Tyler. Yeah. Cause he keeps, she keeps trying to get his attention. Ah, very true. <laughs> She's only gonna keep festering you. He got something against you, Taru. It's like someone that keeps spamming your phone. Until yeah. you answer. Part of me thinks he's just trying to be, be a frame for. Hey, go back to the rising stones. Them. There you go. Conveniently at the very bottom, and it probably always will be. Jack Frost? Did you see a Jack Frost person? Yeah. Cool. That's Faces. Persona, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> what do you mean, sure? I don't remember. Yeah, I think Jack Frost is... Well, I think Jack Frost is mainly representative of the Shin Megami, Sh Shin Megami Tensei series. Ooh. But I think you can find Jack Frost in Persona. I don't know. Hey, it's her. Come back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Thanks to our involved selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings. And what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garamold? Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophoru's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Shardian. Charlian. It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not likely to aid us in its discovery. Charlian, Tyler. Heard of that place so much. Yeah. That's where Alphano, Alizé, and Kral come from. Interesting. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary, and have since received their blessing. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the Forum? One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlene at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing, a topic I had discussed at some length with Yishtola. We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Well, it's been a while. Yeah. I don't remember. She did a lot in the base game. Yeah. Did we get spoke? Yeah, we did hear from her in the crystal. Did we? Room, I think. Even I don't remember. When Elidibus sought to make warriors of light, that was the voice 
which calls constantly to all who might hear it. I spoke of direct communication, when Heidelin communed solely with you. A far rarer occurrence. History shows us that Heidelin is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in her judgment. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryl, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Heidelin has not made her will known to anyone. During my time in the first, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reem. But that was not the will of Heidelin. It was Minfilia herself. Tyler, what's Heidelin doing? Indeed. And while yeah, we she don't know. and Heidelin were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder, could Heidelin's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Urianger's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. It's a mystery. Then again, I'm not right to say. The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlien and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. He's sad still, and it's your fault. Resolve Just kidding. It's not my fault. Oh, okay. Believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now, of all times. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few in number. And so I must ask you again. Will you join us? Do you hope so? Or is he gonna It'd be hide? pretty cool to have him as a scion. You see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You're idealistic to a fault. But I know you would never turn your back on those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. Somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving a light to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. And even when you lost those you held dear, He's got this speech rehearsed. Yeah. But you bear it willingly. As you have shown me. Some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? I think that's a yes. That is a yes. Thank you, Estinian. Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. See, this is this anime thing where you gotta show everyone, okay? And now, okay. I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. You will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian, 
And do try not to let the forum embroil you in their politics. Forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. I shall do my very best. Farewell. Goodbye. Have a good trip, Kryle. You think she's gonna get shot in the face? No. Okay, good. Everyone's gonna watch her leave. Cool. Is uh, Tataru gonna make Astinia in a new outfit? I don't know. <laughs> I like his armor. I do like unless his armor him, too. Unless you give him cool new armor. His armor was Whoa! the best in the world. Keyblade Graveyard, huh? <gasps> That's a lot of weapons. Oh! Do you remember Xenos looked at his sword? I didn't like it and he broke it by stepping on it somehow? Yeah. Well, he's trying to look for a new one. I don't know how the hell he got these swords in this arrangement. Yep. In the middle of the hallway, I'm just gonna stab everything everywhere and then, then look around. Does this one meet with your approval? <laughs> just <laughs> I'm not Sephiroth. Oh, he's upset that they lost. Plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. Uh oh. But the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Speaking of preparations, is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> A mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it's it will be to put it to use. Oh, that moon one? The crescent one? Yeah. Yeah, pick that one, Xenos. It's pretty Which cool. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. There is one that I have been meaning to tell. Which one? Well, well, not quite what I was expecting. Though I will say, it does seem rather apt. What are you talking about? He hasn't even picked it up yet, so how do you know which one he's going for? Don't worry, he stopped at it. He wants that one. Is it a weapon of someone we know? Did someone we know die off screen? I don't know. Are you curious to find out? Hey, be, talk to Tataru. Better not be like he ends freaking sword. <laughs> Emric sword. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't even. I already lost horse bot. It's gonna be Yatsuyu's. Did she even have a weapon? No, no. She had a she had a she had a cigarette thing. Blowpipe. Gosetsu's. Gosetsu. Oh, Yugiri. Yugiri. You'll be the first to know. In the next episode, we'll talk to Alize. Toodles! Toodaloo! How many episodes have I got?